Kansas City Chiefs uh, kicker Harrison Butker literally said, th I love this line. The three-time Super Bowl uh, winner laid into 81-year-old president during a fiery commencement speech Saturday at a Benedictine, that's uh, religious, college in Atchison, Gesundheit, <laughs> Kansas, where the NFL star also criticized the federal government's response to COVID. And again, I got to get to this fucking guy, Eric Kramer, the one I was telling you about, he's been on the show before, very liberal guy, used to write for Saturday Night Live. Everything he, he, everything he says, it's just like Trump derangement. And, and I'll get to that in a sec, but, uh, and aired out his frustrations with a litany of other political, religious, and cultural issues. And I'm gonna say what I always say. I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm saying I'm stupid and I get it. And as a group, you witness firsthand, and, and, and again, this is a football player that sees it. As a group, you witness firsthand how bad leaders who don't stay in their lane can have a negative impact on society, the 28-year-old said in his 20-minute address. Um, while COVID might have played a large role throughout your formative years, it is not unique, the kicker argued. Bad policies and poor leadership have negatively impacted major life issues. Things like abortion, IVF, surrogacy, euthanasia, as as well as a growing support for degenerate cultural values and media, all stem from the pervasiveness of disorder. And the buck stops with Biden, according to Bucker. Our own nation is led by a man who publicly and proudly proclaims his Catholic faith. And I'm going to say this right here. No one's forcing religion on you. No one isn't. I fucking think organized religion, or as Keanu says, the man, anyone, the man in the sky, stop it. Stop using these insane. Um, but at the same time, excuse me, our nation is led by a man who's publicly and proudly proclaims his Catholic faith. But at the same time, is delusion, this I love, I never even said, is delusional enough to make the sign of the cross during a pro-abortion rally. And if you don't get how they literally are like, we're on, you guys, this is them, you're stupid. Hey, hey, you, hey, Catholics, you're so dumb that you believe the man in the sky, so I will say I love the man in the sky and I'll make the sign of the cross. And hey, uh, pro-lifers, I need your vote too. So I'll uh, talk to you and you'll be like, oh my God, if, my, if I raise my daughter to be a whore, she can get an abortion anywhere and I'll vote for him too. And he doesn't realize he's the fucking leader saying, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I'm a devout Catholic and I will help you fucking uh, flush your baby down the toilet. But again, you're stupid, I'm smart, and you'll vote for me. You're stupid, I'm smart, so you don't understand how it's impossible for one graph to go like this and another to go like this. It's an impossibility. Um, Biden is, uh, he has been so vocal in his support for the murder of innocent babies that I'm sure to many people it appears that you can be both Catholic and pro-choice. You can't. You can't unless you're a politician and you think we're stupid. And this is why right now, fucking Catholics should not be voting for Biden. If, if, if you're like old school Catholics, you should not be voting for Biden. And when he shows up, when he shows up in a church, in a church and no one is calling him out, no one's saying, aren't you pro-abortion and you're in a church? Aren't you pro-abortion and you're on the altar? How dare you? If you really were a Christian, you would fucking not have the fuck, you would not have the fucking balls fucking to set foot on an altar where you are the man in charge of a country where you're saying we need to kill babies, but he has such disrespect for the man in the sky that he does. He has such disrespect for fucking the very people that fucking piously fucking tithe fucking 10% of their income to fucking uh, so that money can go to Boston to pay all fucking altar boys that got fucked in the ass by a priest. He has the balls, not the balls that fucking this little fucking thing has that are coming out of its mouth. Not the balls. You're talking about me. He's got the balls to do that. And 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 again, I don't see how you know, someone. I was sent home. I don't, oh, go. I'm sorry. No, no, what? Finish. I don't see how someone doesn't just say, wow, if I'm a Christian, I'm voting for Trump because Trump is saying, I, uh, I am making it illegal. I'm taking abortion out of the con. It's not in the con. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm taking uh, abortion out of the Constitution because, again, uh, I believe in the Constitution, which is a big fan is of little, God. Is there a little which is miss? A big Marty fan Payne? of God that all men are created equal, that they are born with certain inalienable rights, that they're 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 gifted from God. You are born from with that from a God that fucking if you're a Christian doesn't like abortion. So what I'm going to do is say you can't have abortion, and if the states vote on it. That is out of my hands. That's out of my hands. And if you're a good Christian, move out of the state where there's abortion or don't vote for that guy. But 
You are sitting there voting for fucking Biden, who has the balls to make the sign of the cross while he's saying like, yeah, let's uh, let's make sure you can uh, fucking have an abortion. And and it's a it's a sin. It's a sin what these people like Trump are doing. And, and yet and yet it's getting to the point where kickers in the NFL kickers in the NFL are like, you can't you can't talk like this and expect me to fucking respect what the fuck you're doing. And people do. God. People do. Damn, you're smart. I, I, I'm not just smart. You got it all figured out. I am a smarty pants. That's what I am. Thank you very much. Smarty pants.